everybody, it's Stefan. I would like to talk about um, spirituality and religion as usually. And the topic I wanted to talk about today is spiritual living in general. So let's get right into it. Uh, the question we want to ask here is how to really achieve things. How can you really um, r reach something with spirituality. As I said before, spirituality and religion is not just a thing you believe in and then you got everything. Uh, it's much rather a thing of going on a certain way, behaving in a certain uh, type of way to um, to reach where you want to go. So, what is this way? How can you, how can you act? So, uh, let me first put out of the way, it's not like going to church all the time. It's not having a certain religion, like if you are from Islam or if you're from Christianity, that doesn't matter all too much. Um, so it's not these, these general things thought of as religious. It's not about eating a certain type of bread, as Christians say. It's not, forget these things. You are alive, you are on this, on this world, so you think there might be um, a thing you can do to get a better grip of what I call higher things. Like that, that's the, the overarching theme of religion is higher things, becoming your true self, heaven, nirvana, like this, this, all these things point to a different a higher thing that you can come to, a higher form. So that's basically exactly what religion, what religion and spirituality is about. It's, it's, it's about reaching a higher form. It's about becoming something that you not yet are. So let me give you an impression of what I think, how this looks in your everyday life. What can you do? to become this higher thing. At first we should imagine, as I think, that the world that you see around you, like the wall behind me, the room, the other people, that is not the only thing that there is. There's, you see the room and the people and the stars and the galaxies and atoms on a small level and and, and we see all these things Th these things we call the universe so i would i would uh, say the universe as we define it in this way everything around us is not everything there is there is more to this universe there are more things that we do not see as I usually define it, if, if you watched more of my videos, you know that defining things is not a thing I like to do. Because if you can consider that there's more to this universe that you don't see, you also have to consider that those things work with a different logic. So your logic is not up, is not up to the standard on the le same level as the logic of all the things in the universe that you don't see those higher things you don't understand the logic of these things but they are the higher things so if there's stuff in the universe that you don't see that you want to reach higher things and they have a different logic than our logic then this means since they are the higher things that our logic is wrong or so to say not high enough. So we usually, some people think our logic is perfect, but it is not since there's a higher logic and we want to reach that. So at this point you have to consider that whatever you think to know, whatever seems logical to you, is not logical or must not be true if you consider everything there is. And this everything there is, that's where we want to go to. So here we sit, Having a logic that does not apply to the universe, because there's a, a higher logic, 
having things we don't yet see and still wishing to perform in a way that we get closer to to these things that that we don't see the, that's the that's the, the the idea here we are not seeing these things but we want to come there that's what we should do and it's worth it so how do we do that to do that it is super important to understand one thing these higher things that you don't see that you want to come to are good things um, moral things friendly things they are friendly so since they are of a different logic than our logic you could say if they intersect with our logic at the things thought of as being friendly that means you got yourself here you got the higher things that you want to come to and these higher things have a different logics you cannot understand them but they can in general be called friendly moral nice good caring uh, these these higher things can in in general be called good and friendly um so that's the point where that's the point where where our being friendly is not only a thing that compares that compares to the other things we feel like you don't have bad evil and friendly as two things that both exist in this world rather you have to think of being friendly as a capability of understanding the higher things the higher logic the higher logic of the of the higher things you can understand with the terms friendliness that's that's the way we understand of these things that's that's um that's the that's the the one um thing how we can understand the higher things with our deep inner wish for being friendly this is much more than just uh, than just a wish beside the other wishes this inner wish for peace and and being helpful and caring is indeed our way our form of understanding the higher things so it's a very very uh worthy thing when you think i want to be friendly then you are then that's your way to understand the higher things so let's go back to how this is sorted with with those higher things you see the universe the stars the room the people you see everything and then there's stuff that you don't see heaven the higher things all these these things that i don't like to define too much because definitions um always bring you to think too strictly of things which are above your logic above your logic means what you think is wrong these things do things differently so that you cannot understand them you cannot understand define explain higher things they are different they are different to what is logic there can be things can be true inside of the higher things which from your point of view seem not logical that's the point that you that you really have to consider when you think about these things your logic is gonna not is not gonna cope with under, understanding the higher things so these higher things are everywhere they are not adjacent or close to this universe they are in this universe so imagine a big universe the things the whole universe consisting of higher things everywhere and consisting of the things you see it's all in in one place it's all in one place that means you can basically 
touch the higher things. You can basically see the higher things. And your task is to become a person that is, is able to see the higher things which are in this universe. This universe consists of the things you see and the things that you don't see which are higher. And you can touch them. And you can see them. In my opinion, you already touch them. But do not know. You're not aware that you touch them. But when, when, as I said, your wish to be caring, friendly, nice and helpful is just your understanding, the way you understand the higher logic, then it becomes clear what I mean with that you already touch them. But you do not, do you do not see them completely uh, how they are in full. But you just understand them. In my opinion, also, life is only possible. Our life, what what people say, our our soul, our our self, our being, is only possible because it roots in the higher things, the higher the the, the complete universe, the higher things, and the things we see inside of the higher things. You start, and then you come to be here. So your self already roots in the higher things. That's why I believe it is possible for us to survive death, to, to still live after this life, because our true self is part of the higher things. But, as I said, those are all images, because the higher things are things that have a different logic to than our logic. So you think something can only be like this? So if, if it's like that, then it cannot be like that. That's what we call logic. But the higher things have a different logic. So in the, in the higher spheres, it can be that something can be like that and like that. Just to give a basic example, our logic is not, does not hold up to the logic in inside of the higher things. So, the higher things are part of this universe, and I think you root, you root, your basic, the, the basic beginning of you, you yourself, the root, is inside of the higher things, otherwise you could not exist at all. That's what I think. But as I said, those are just images, and be careful with them. So, how do we come to see more of the higher things. Well, how can we develop to, to be better? Um, because, as I say, you are here developing. You're going to, to become more knowledge of the higher things. So how can we do that? We do not understand the higher things. Not We cannot even grasp those things. Our logic is not enough, but being caring is the way how we understand the higher things. That's the way how we understand them. That's not all there is about them, but that's the way we understand of them. So, uh, so now you have to imagine or understand the higher things being more powerful than you are. So, it's not, it's not only about you being so powerful that you reach into the higher things. You, it's not about you being powerful and walk yourself into the higher things. It's not about you becoming so good that you see the higher things. You have to give the higher things credit. And... That means you have to believe that they have power. And the power of these higher things can drag you, can allow you to come to the higher things. And when does that happen? When do the higher things allow you in? And for this thing, you should understand that with, with seeing higher things, 
and being able to touch higher things. What do you get? Power. You get power. A power that is higher than any power you can get on earth. There's many people who, who try to get things and try to get power and might on this planet and for that they say I don't have to be good I don't have to be good I I I I'm mean to these people I take more money in a contract than than is fair I take people away the land from the people I put war on the people just to have power on this planet but if they would be nice and don't take this much unfair money and would not take away the country of the people and would not bring war, they would be able to see the higher things, they would be able to touch the higher things and to live inside of the higher things and they would have more power. I'm talking about a, a certain type of power here. It's a life power that again is above our logic but when the higher things allow you in allow yourself to that you are in a position to see them and to touch them that means you will be able to work with them you can do things that you cannot do as long as you don't see these things and that will give you a power far above any other power that you can achieve on this planet. It's difficult to understand how some people can be all-powerful and, and, and can attack you because they are the president or whatever and, and you just get attacked and are a nice person and still someone tells you that you have more power than them. But when you imagine that you die at some point and everybody dies, then you will understand that there, that there still are more possibilities for power that you can have. You will come into a situation of, of much more power and you will understand that the more you get aware of the higher things. So, why am I telling you that? The higher things will allow you, be careful, those are all images. And images have the point to it that they are wrong, because our logic does not grasp the reality, the high reality. But let's work, let's come up with an image. As long as it's all we understand, then an image is fine, but take a bit care with, with images. The higher things will allow you to see them and to live inside of them when they know that you will not abuse your power. So you have to be convincing. And to be convincing that you don't abuse your power you simply have to not abuse your power. But since you are dealing with the higher things, the things absolutely aware of what you are thinking, you cannot just pretend to be nice. Because they see everything you think. They is not a group of people. They is the higher things in general. They know everything you think as long as you not as long as you are not thinking perfectly and caringly there's no no possibility that you can cheat the higher powers so that they invite you in so you want to be invited in by the higher things you want them to open the doors for you to say yeah you can see the things and for that to happen, you must be 
a caring person, a nice person, listen to people, look what they want. As I, as I usually say, don't look what the people want, don't look what they want, but look if there's a thing, if there's a mode of things everybody wants. Is, is there a, um, something that, that is a, a, a common base so that everybody gets as much as possible? That's what you look for, this, this, what's good for everybody. Good for the people around me, good for nature, good for me. What is, what is good for them? Good is defined by that people can be nice themselves more easily. Or that you can be nice and caring more easily. It's, that's, that's what good means. Good gives you, always is, is about giving you and the others more power to be good. Because being good will, in, will have the higher things invite you. So being good is the only reasonable thing to do. So let's say there comes a situation in which you have several options. Some options are... You take something for yourself, money, power, whatever. You take something for yourself, and the other option is you don't take stuff for yourself, but take things, but, but strive and, and go for the things that are good for everybody, the other and you. You go for this thing. Then there's two options. The options are you fake this, you make a fake, you make it look as if you were doing something for everybody, and, in, and actually don't do things for everybody, but you're planning to get something for yourself. That is not going to trick the higher things. They're not going to be cheated because they see what you think. They will know, okay, it's a trick. Pfft, that, that guy we can't use. We can't use this guy or this girl. Or you have the option to say, with all my wishes, with all my thoughts, and in all reality... I try to achieve what is good for everybody. What I think is good for everybody. And, and you stand with that. And you go with that. And that's the way you, you take every situ situation. You do what's good for everybody. Then the higher things will say, Look, this guy or this woman is a good person. And, and they will be tempted or or come into the situation that they want to invite you that's the one thing the higher things want to invite you to come to them and also you will think I'm doing things for, for everybody here I think I can be daring and enter the higher things because you still already are inside of the higher things but but you don't dare to enter. So you will be more like, I'm doing good things anyways. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be nice and looking for the things for everybody. So I, I think it's okay if I enter, if I get a bit closer to the higher thing. I, I think that's okay because I'm a nice person. That's what you're going to You're going to be more uh, adventurous or daring to, to go into these things. And so you will go closer and the higher things around you will invite you with their power. So your power and the power of the higher things will both be set to the same wish or the same idea that you are a person that can be trusted. You will go towards the higher things, the higher things will invite you and open up. So you will become knowing, knowledge of the higher things. You will start to see them with becoming a different person, with becoming a more caring person now. If you are a perfectly caring person, doing things for everybody, if that's your, and if that's your true wish, and not a fake, and not something you say, okay, do this now, but not again tomorrow, but if you, if you really, really are set at the moment for the wish of doing this, being really nice, then you will not see all higher things because our logic and and our way of being is different to that of the higher things there's a difference so they are very 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 good and the higher things everywhere i, I don't don't show them here show them everywhere
but not visible. They, they are very good. But you are not. So if you are very nice, they don't invite you perfect, uh, com completely. And you cannot enter them completely. But if you are very nice, and, and at, the, at that point I, I always say, be as nice as you can. Let's say you give everything to do the things everybody wants. You give everything. It's, it's the day you've made it as perfect as you can. Then something will happen. And that is the next day you will notice, I've been as perfect as I could, but you will learn things from doing this. And you will, you will think, I could have been better. Oh, well, I notice now. I could have done things better, believe me. It will happen. As when you, that moment you are perfect one day, the next day you will notice how you could have done better. So the next day you will do this and you will be even more perfect. You will live up to what you can do. So you do that again. The next day you will, be, you will say, oh, I was really perfect, as good as I could be yesterday. Wow. And I notice I can be, even do this better and this can be done better. You will not notice these things if you're not going to, to, to the full extent. You go to your perfection, to, to the way you are perfect, and then you will notice that what could have been done better. If you don't care, if you say, I don't need to be perfect, I, I cheat this guy or cheat this girl and get money from this guy that I don't deserve and, and fuck this guy, uh, um, absolutely. You, this, is not, this is not your perfection. This is not the perfect way you can be. The perfect way you can be is... Be as good as you can completely. Give everything for that. And if you do that and manage that, then the next day you will learn how to be better. Don't, don't make yourself. Don't get crazy over this. Take it slowly. Okay? Nobody's... There's even a saying, nobody's perfect. So, don't be like, I'm crazy because I'm not perfect. But try to be perfect. Always, always remember... You are going to perfection anyways. The universe is set to go to perfection. You will stay alive. You will live forever. You will come to perfection. Those things are going to happen anyways. But from the point of absolute security that you're going to perfection, from that point you try your best to be calm, be calm and relaxed, and, but give everything. Give everything you have. And the next day you will see, oh, I could have been better. So that's the that's the the day-to-day -day perfection you are looking for. The nice thing is the thing of cosmic relevance. Doing the nice thing and believing that that you're really trying to do the nice thing. The perfect thing, the a perfectly proper thing, as if you were dealing with instances. That know what you think, not only what you do. The higher things don't see what they what you do; they see what you think, what you want. From if from that point you give everything to be as good as you can, then the next day you will learn to do this more, and at some point you will do this so much automatically. That you become to, to be a person who automatically does the, the things good for everybody. And at that point you will become more daring to enter the higher things. You say, okay, I'm, I'm good, I, can, I trust myself, I can enter these higher things. And the higher things will invite you and they will reveal themselves to you. And I'm not kidding here. I'm, I'm really talking about you... The moment you start to see higher things, to become aware of the higher things, and to, to come in touch with the higher things, that moment you will, you will see things that can be called supernatural. You will enter a, a supernatural um, place. Because this place here is a supernatural place, but you don't notice because you don't see the things. And you don't see the things because you're not thinking to be good for everybody. 
as soon as you start living this to as, be as good as you can, good for everybody, for the reasonable things, good for the things that are good, good for the things good for everybody, as, as, as soon as you start living this, and the next day notice that you can live this even more, and, and you set yourself to be a person doing this, not taking home. Because as you, as you now, if you understand this, you will see everything taking away things from other people will give you a, a bonus for yourself. You have more money or something or more land, but it pulls you away from the, from the things you actually are. Because if you live in connection to the higher things, you will become more powerful and you will become more yourself and you will become more alive and everything everything that you really want in this universe is connected to this idea of becoming connected to the higher things so taking these little advantages a bit of money or a, or like taking the the life like wanting the life partner of somebody else or destroying person's possibilities to be nice because you think you have an advantage those are no advantages it gives you no advantage because you're not thinking about being good for everybody and it's the moment that you think of becoming good for everybody that the higher things invite you and that you are daring enough to step um have this this yeah step towards the higher things um yeah that you have the trust in yourself that it's good that you get to this power because you, you yourself are blocking yourself from the higher power because you know if you have it you will abuse it so be a person who knows deep inside that you're not abusing things and you are not you are not a person that does not abuse things you have to live it every day not to abuse things and live for the things that are good for everybody it's to to become very firm and convinced in, in deep inside of your mind that you are not abusing things. Then you will have the trust in yourself that you can enter the higher things, that you can come in touch with the higher things. And the higher things will have the trust that you are good enough to, to, to have things revealed, to come in touch. That's how this works. This is, is two-sided. And as I said, those are images. Don't take them too serious. But it's just for us to have a, a, a possibility to live the right way because we make images but be aware that when the more you see the higher things the more your logic you see that your logic is not gonna apply and that things can be logical inside of the higher things that are not logical for your small smaller logic that's the way you do that that's the way you live every day to your to your perfect possibilities of being as good as you can for everybody and learn more about this the next day. It, it sounds easy, and, and be, as long as you don't see the higher things, it sounds like, oh, is it necessary? Shouldn't I take an advantage here and an advantage there? You think that, many people think that, but it's in, in the life attitude of not taking an advantage here for yourself and not taking an advantage there, that you become the person who does not look for these small advantages, but looks for the advantage for everyone. And with that you become the person that the next day does this even better. And the next day does this even better and over the days, over the years, and probably over the lives that you might have. You will learn, but those are really just images. But in your stay, but during your stay in the cosmos, during your stay in the universe, you will become a person more and more of uh, more and more able to see and touch the higher things and this will give you these cosmic possibilities and this cosmic powers that really are worth it that's really worth it that stands so far above these minor advantages but you will only notice that when you have a rank, uh, a form, that when you are a person that can touch the higher things, then you will notice that. Then you will say, oh, 
that has not been an advantage. That, that, those small things that I try to get for myself were no advantages. When you know that, you, you even more start to not go for those small things in, in life by, um, by being tricky or taking things that, that you think are not really fair to take. You will not, you don't want that because you want the, the, the real advantage of that universe. That's what's, what's going to happen. So, in a way, without seeing the higher things, you start with not taking these tricky, mean advantages. And you start with... When you are aware of the higher things and you, and you are super nice to everybody, you will see this is your true self. So, without understanding that it's your true self to be only caring, nice and giving without understanding that because you don't see the higher things or don't touch them without understanding you still have to go that way that's the, the, the basic formula of true religion of right lived spirituality that's the basic formula without touching the higher things or without completely touching the higher things you still try to be what you actually are the person that's there for everybody the person that does the things good for everybody. Caring, being nice, being friendly, not being tricky, not cheating, not taking things away, not having these looking for these small advantages from 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 cheating. Forget it, throw it away. You don't you don't want it. What you want is the, the real advantage that you get when you become somebody touching the higher things. And that's when you're really good for everybody that's when that's your your main basic thought your wish to just do it because you want to be good and you practice that over some time that's that's the way you live religion right that's true that's the true way in religion or spirituality that's the yeah that's the true way so uh i wish you everybody have um good luck practicing um I have fun practicing this. I would like to add that the universe is hard and, and mean and that sometimes you will think, oh, there's not such thing as higher things or there's not such thing as good things or, or whatever. It's not true. The universe is a mean place that just hurts you. You will have these thoughts. Try to not have them. The universe is perfect in the end. You will come to perfection in the end, even however bad things seem and they will be really really cruel this is really really a hard place you know that and you will think oh it cannot be true all these positive thoughts cannot be true but they will be true in the end so try to have as much belief in in the good things and in that things are gonna get good for you and for everybody things are gonna be perfect for everybody have as much belief as you can in that okay just Try to believe it as good as you can. Uh, believe it as good as you can, and and then be work with being good, over every day as good as you can. That's what I wanted to add because it's yeah, it's a, a, a truth about this universe. It's it will be perfect for you, and it will be per perfect for your friends and everything in the end. But in between, it is not perfect, and and the reason why it's not perfect is always. Because it's the only way to have perfection at the end. The imperfection, the things that have not the only way, the only ways to perfection. The universe works perfectly. The universe is perfect and it, it goes to perfection. But the things the universe does in order to come to perfection are cruel for us and seem unperfect. But they are not. This is the way to perfection. So trust that you will have perfection and everything that you really want and wish for at the end. And the people will, also your friends, will have what they need and what they want in the end. And it's necessary that these things, that these cruel and, me and bad things happen. It's, it's necessary to reach perfection for you and for everybody. But it can take away your trust and your belief. So try not to have it take away your trust as good as you can. That's also important. So, always say, I'm going to perfection, everything's going to perfection, and yet I give everything 
to be as good as I can to to my full to the full extent to my full power I try to do the things for everybody that's that's the way to go okay I will end this video here uh, oh, <laughs> everybody have fun and best of luck and I wish you all good and goodbye for now <laughs>